been really good in the final five minutes of games this year. I think with 547 left, it's tied at 101. And I think about two or three minutes later, they're up nine. Um, just what do you feel like kind of happened in the final five minutes from an offensive perspective? Uh, offensive, I don't think it was bad. I think, OK, yeah, we turned, we did turn the ball over one time, if I remember well. Uh, but it was like we couldn't get a stop, you know. Uh, OK, uh, TJ McCollum. You know, went downhill, went to the free throw line, shoot some fadeaways, pushed us up. You know, I was able to, you know, get with the one down the stretch, and um, we wasn't. Uh, then I feel like it was a stops, stops game. I wasn't able to get stops, and uh, they were able to get them in. What do you feel like that two point guard look kind of did to you guys defensively, like when they had both point guards in? Um, <laughs> You know, you have guys that can make plays for themselves. Uh, from tighties coming off the pick and roll, shooting the uh, tough twos, or the floaters. Uh, from um, TJ, you know, gnashing it, you know, looking for passes or just going all the way and trying to make something happen. Like, it's just, it's just tough. Uh, it's tough to guard. You put up huge numbers against the Pacers this season, but they're three and one against y'all. What is it about this team that's given y'all as a team trouble? Do you think? I don't know. I don't know if I knew. Uh, we'll fix it. Uh, I don't know. We got to figure it out. Obviously, play fast, move the ball real well. The one shoot a lot of threes today. They shot 40% from the three point line. Not well, but they still was able to win. Uh, we got to do a better job sprinting back. Keeping guys in front of us, rebound the ball. Well, I think they had a lot of offensive rebounds, um, but we got to figure it out, you know, because you never know. You might see them in the playoffs. You might we're going to see them again in two days. So um, I think that this makes us better. Makes us better. You know, got to go watch the tapes, figure out what they do well against us, and try to stop it. And if we cannot stop it, they'll probably lose again. It's hard to imagine that they won't be confident heading into the game on Wednesday, especially with them being at home. How do you shake that confidence in their arena? That, that's my basketball. It's basketball. The same way we were confident coming in here, we wasn't able to get a win. It's the same thing. Going to Indiana, they might be at home. They might be more confident. They might be more relaxed, thinking that because they're at home, they'll you know win easier or whatever the case might be. But basketball is basketball. Sometimes, like when you when the when you play play of basketball, when you're locked in, the the crowd doesn't really pay. You know, uh, we don't really pay too much attention to the to the crowd. We just focus on the things that we we can control the basketball court. So, going to uh, Indiana for sure is going to be tough. They might feel more uh, confident, more comfortable playing at home. Uh, we just got to go out there, set the tone, play good basketball. Don't turn the ball over. Defending the best of our ability. Don't allow them to go for a. Uh, Big runs and uh, keep as much as we can, guys, in front of us. You know, and uh, if we were able to do that, maybe we have a chance to win. I think 11 assists. What? Um, how? How did you see them react to you in terms of maybe some earlier doubles? And how do you think yeah. you're able to handle that and, and spread the ball around? Uh, I feel like I couldn't. I don't remember posting up today. I couldn't. You know, uh, they were double teaming. So. I knew that. Or oh, whenever I draw the ball, they were like, ball sucking in. Um, so it's opportunity for my teammates to, you know, be aggressive, make shots, and for me to make the right play to them. Um, that's pretty much it. I wish I could have a little bit more one on one, but I couldn't. Well, uh, you, I think you had nine assists like midway through the third quarter, and then in the fourth quarter, there weren't, I think, just one or two assists for you. Um, Chris said he thought the spacing off of the doubles that they were giving you wasn't quite as good in the fourth quarter. Did you kind of see that as well? Uh, I think the, the ball wasn't rotating as fast. I'm not, I'm not going to say the space wasn't as good, but I feel like whenever I kicked the ball, it wasn't like swing, swing, you know, enough to get the open shot. Um, it was almost like that swing, and I was able to kind of get back and keep the ball in front. So. You know, when you double team and you have the advantage, the ball got to move fast. You got to get to the corner or you got to get to the 45 as fast as possible so that guy can get open shot. And if he, if he doesn't, you know, then you swing it right back, and then I can play one-on-one. -on -one. But in this game, uh, I think the ball did not rotate as fast as we could. You know, Beasley is supposed to shoot more threes. Uh, Pat's supposed to shoot more threes. Chris 
supposed to shoot more threes. I feel like usually in the past, the first guy of the double team that you make the pass was the one that was getting the shot, but now maybe Dave cannot be the first pass. Like he has to be on the weak side. You know, he cannot be the feeder no more because we need the aim to get the shot. We need Chris to get the shot. You know, uh, but we, we'll watch Dave and we will, we'll see, we'll figure it out. Is that what the other day you were talking about? You talked about the sport that, like, at a certain point, it's going you guys are gonna get to a point where you don't have to think. Like, is that kind of what you're talking about? Like, um, uh, these times that we, these times that we, obviously, you have to think the game. You cannot play the game without thinking about like, our instincts take over. Yeah. You know, uh, in these games that I've, our instincts have take over, like, the Cavs down the stretch. Well, I think we played extremely well. Was able to get stops. Was able to make shots. Was able to get in the paint. Like we played extremely well. You know, today we didn't, yeah. and it's okay. Uh, obviously, it's not okay to lose three times in a row. Not three times in a row. Three times from the same team. Uh, but it's good. It's 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 a lesson, man. I don't, I don't think it's bad because sometimes you go into the playoffs and you're like, oh yeah, there's there's no way a team can beat us four times in a row. But, but what day is today? Today's Monday. On Wednesday, there's a chance of a team beating us four times in the regular season. You know, it's it's a lesson. You know, like you gotta be more more aware, more urgent, play with more urgency. You know, take the ball, take care of the ball down the stretch, make a little bit more shots because, yeah, there's teams out there that can beat us four times in a row. So if you don't play the the best basketball we can play, they'll they'll beat us. Um, Tyrese, I know it averages 20 points per game, but 26. I 26. Yeah. So I know he scores. So I'm, but it felt like tonight it was. He he still set guys up, and then it was late. I think he had nine points in that stretch in the fourth. Yeah. Where so what did you maybe see from him in particular that uh, that allowed him to maybe shake loose in that way, or did you think maybe he was a little more aggressive, looking for his own, at in that um, that fourth quarter? I'll be very very honest with you. I feel like um, in the first uh, half we did a good job on him on the switches. Um, he wasn't able to get down here. Like most of the points that he scored, if you saw that there was lobs and there was with uh, Brook, you know, when Brook was back, he was able to come out of the pick and roll and shoot the pocket twos or the pocket, the floater, you know. Um, but uh, was able to kind of like keep Brook away from him and uh, kind of pre rotate. And, you know, whenever Brook was coming out, then I'll take him or maybe my league t took him or I'll take him the 77 and I switch. And then we did not allow him to get downhill. Like in the first half, we did that very, very well. But um, in the second half, uh, we didn't. I was in the weak side. Uh, he was able to play, you know, in a single side by himself with Brooke, and he was able to, you know, get to his uh, his float and his shot. And at the end of the day, it's like it's not Brooke's fault. Like Brooke is doing his his job. But like a guy like him, what he likes to shoot is that is the three, or that pocket two, or that floater. You know, so when you play the difference that we play, it kind of benefits him. Like, he takes advantage of it. I think it, down the stretch, he took advantage of that. Um, but I think, well, I'll be honest with you, early in the, in the game, we did a really good job on him. You know, he was he was facilitating. Like, he was passing the ball. He passed the ball. Incredible. But um, he wasn't as aggressive. He made a couple floaters, but he wasn't as, a, as aggressive. He had a lot of opportunities to be aggressive.